and in this episode, I'm gonna be turning this dollar store wood panel into an epic, cute Halloween painting. So you can join me by grabbing some acrylic paint and something to paint on, whatever you want, even a dollar store canvas or panel. Uh, keep in mind that acrylic paints uh, are very permanent, so wear some protective clothing and cover your painting surface and grab a couple paint brushes. You don't need a lot, just a couple, something, a thin one and a thick one, and some water, some water. If you don't want to paint, you can just totally chill and watch me paint it for some awesome, epic Halloween fun, and you'll learn so much from this video, my friend. So join me and let's dive into this episode. spooky trees in the background. Okay, so I place where my branches are gonna be. Just sort of mapping it out. I don't want them to be perfect, so I'm just gonna add a little wave here and there. And then what I can do is then you can fold those lines back in. branch off the main branch here and there. Don't worry if it's not perfect. We do have to paint our background at some point. Okay, bringing it down. Okay, and once I get to the ground, I want to do the same thing, but this time with roots. I don't want to make it super complicated right now because we do need to paint it. You can always add in your own artist choice details later. After you've done your background and you want like, oh, maybe I want some bats or whatever. Those things can be added later. Right now we're just getting the general layout mapped. Now I'm not adding legs because it's a ghost. <laughs> because I don't, I'm, I've, I've gone through the palette in my head a couple times, so I've been deciding on what I'm gonna be doing if, in my head as I work. 
I don't really create with preconceived ideas. I just well, I make it up on the spot. So um, we're gonna see how this goes. Um, I'm kind of I think want to do. I was gonna do an orange background originally, but I, it's Halloween and there's a ghost and how cute is it? So let's do this this way and maybe I'll add like a little pumpkin in the foreground or something. Um, or some bats in the sky, I'm not really sure yet. Or maybe a pumpkin right here. I haven't quite decided, so. Let's do the background first and we're gonna paint in the trees and then the, we'll do the ghost. I think maybe, I think I kinda do wanna do a little jack-o'-lantern, so. I'm just kinda thinking out loud now. Now that sounds like a really great idea. So maybe we'll add a little jack-o'-lantern in here. Um, just to give a nice glow on our ghost. Okay, so I'm painting white. We're gonna need to have some a few layers. So I'm just doing the basic shape. I'm gonna have to cut in when the background's a little bit more dry. Thanks for adding the base. I'm going to mix my yellow and a bit of red to make just a nice base orange color. It could be more on the red orange side than yellow orange, more red than yellow, um, just to have a darker value. And we're going to add somewhere a nice little jack. So I'm just going to draw the outlines first. We're going to start off with an oval. And I'm going to add a letter C on either side. And then one more smaller letter C. shape. I'm not working on the ghost right now to allow the ghost, the white on the ghost to have some time to dry.
You can add a second coat to your ghost and you can even extend it past the ghost itself. They've extended it onto the black in purpose because it creates kind of a glow, right? The black is showing through, so it almost looks like it's glowing. But don't worry, we'll come back and fix the facial details later. I've also added some highlights to the trees and now I'm going to take a very watery black and I'm going to shade one side, the dark side of the tree. Just gonna blend it in a bit more and um, and give it a bit more form and depth so it's not sticking out so much in it. We're basically gonna to tone it down much brighter and then you can see the difference. They're gonna be kind of fading into the night, right? We want them to look like they're farther away. We don't want them to be so bright. So just watery, a watered down black. Now I'm also gonna add a bit of this mixture, I think, to my pumpkin. I still need to add more orange to it. So I'm just gonna add a couple of the edges. I'm just going over some of it right now. And also put a shadow onto the ghost this way. So that way it looks like it has a cast shadow. Okay. I'm not really worried too much about this black because I need to add uh, more orange. I'm also going to add some to the stem.
Now I'm just gonna add just water only to my brush. And I'm, oh, got mixed up there. Rinse it good. Now we're just gonna blend it. lesson tutorials make sure that you check out the artastic kids website it's my website i have a course and a membership for kids perfect for families wanting to look to have some art lessons um, but maybe something more affordable it's kind of like the netflix for kids art lessons so if you go to artastickids.com that's where you can join the uh, movement essentially where it's a kind of like a revolution of kids learning how to make art at a very affordable price, um, low monthly cost with very affordable materials that are really mess free, um, super easy to use. I'm going to show you how to use all of them and you'll get access to hundreds of art lessons with five new art lessons being added every single month to the membership if you join the membership. There's also Kids um, Art Academy as well that you can check out um, for some more tutorials there. So fun, so great, and you need to cancel at any time. Membership so that you have nothing to lose by joining today. Make sure you go to artastickids.com and check it out and start your journey. Um, perfect for families because your entire family can use and access the website, the membership, uh, for just the same low monthly cost, which is a lot more than if you go to an art studio in your community. Um, as well, if you are a teacher and you're looking for some art inspiration for your classroom, make sure you head on over to the Ms. Artastic blog um, at MsArtastic.com. Lots of ideas for art lessons for your classroom. Okay, so I've just rubbed away some of the paint and it gives it a nice, uh, almost like a rustic texture on there. I really am loving that. All right, so we're gonna leave that there. Dry. We gotta get our special varnish dishes because we want to keep our varnish separate from everything else. I like to. That way it stays nice and pure. Uh, I'm all about using the Gamblin Gambar Gloss Varnish. Uh, you wanna do a couple coats. Um, needs to be 
to be very dry and hard. It needs to dry for at least 24 to 36 hours to after you're done. So make sure you give yourself a program amount of time. Now there's also spray can varnishes, so you don't need to use glam for. You use what you got. Um, spray can's obviously gonna be a quicker result. And just like that, this lovely little ghost artwork is done! Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm so excited about how it turned out. I hope that you try this art tutorial at home and add your own artist flavor. If you share it on social media, make sure you tag me at Ms. Artastic or at Artastic.kids on any social media platform. Speaking of Artastic Kids, make sure you go to Artastickids.com. Check it out. Join the Artastic Kids membership for all your art lesson video tutorials on at home. It's kind of like your Netflix for art lesson for your entire family or inside one classroom um, that you have. Um, as well, it has holidays and seasons, uh, art lesson tutorials, and uh, plants and landscapes. We dive into elements of art, trending topics, and so much more. So make sure you check out and start your art adventure at artastickids.com. And I will see you in the next episode. Make sure you subscribe.